Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be on the new Too Faced Peach Perfect Concealer. I went ahead and tried this out for about three days. Um, in the video you'll just see the third day with me applying it and my final thoughts on the product but I thought I'd go ahead and try this out for a few days to let you know what I think about it. And if you guys want to see how this ended up wearing on me over the three days I did do a wear test um two days ago well yesterday and the day before and I wore it for eight hours the first time I wore it for almost 12 hours the second time and then I will be wearing it for probably about eight hours today but this is what we're looking like I will show you the demo next and everything else that I'm wearing and my face will be included in the description box but if you guys want to see how this ended up wearing and what my final thoughts are on this concealer if you need it or you should leave it just keep on watching we don't have concealer which is what this video is about so um, I have it in the shade peanut butter I initially uh, tried this out two days ago and I just didn't like the way the video turned out so I ended up wearing it again yesterday and I have a pretty good sense now of like if I like this or not but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with you guys so I've already worn this twice and I wore it with different products underneath it just to see if that will change how I feel about it um, but today I did go ahead and apply just a little on some of my problem areas just to see how well that works as a spot concealer but I have a pretty good opinion on how much I like this or not um, I think I'll wait till the end to tell you guys how I feel about it, but yeah, I ended up having to scrap the footage just because I just didn't like the way it turned out, but it kind of worked out because now I can wear it a few more times to get a good sense of how this works. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish applying it and then I'll come back to let you guys see how it looks once it's all the way on. Okay, so the couple of days that I wore it, um, I applied it with a brush because that's usually how I apply potted concealers but um, this time I decided to apply it with a brush and then kind of go over it with a sponge because it wasn't laying down the way I wanted it to. I wasn't recording when I started blending it out with a sponge initially but a lot of the coverage like disappeared on this side for some reason. I'm not pressing hard at all. And this is a sponge I use all the time, so I don't know. It just, I don't want to say gathers, but it just looks dry and textured under my eye. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Can you guys see under my eyes how it's like, well, this eye has more lines anyway, but it just doesn't lay down the way my other concealers do. I'm going to wear it for probably a good eight hours. It is creasing like crazy. It claims to have a 12 hour wear time and both times that I wore it, I wore it for eight, eight and a half hours. Um, it stayed well enough, but it creased. It claims to be crease proof, but right now it's creasing even faster. I will say it smells good. like yeah it's peaches i like this better than their peach palette smell i feel like it smells like those uh gas station ringo so i like any gas station that's what that smells like just really like just very like artificial i went ahead and blended that out even further with the sponge um i'm gonna go ahead and set it i'm going to set it with my maybelline powder Gosh, you guys, this is creasing like crazy. The last times that I wore it, it did. I didn't use um an under eye moisturizer, um, and I thought maybe that's why my eyes were dry. But it's worse now that I use something under here to hydrate them, which I think is really weird. I love this powder, but the shade is too dark for me. Um, it just you know, it doesn't do anything to like highlight or maintain the color that you applied underneath but I love the finish this is creasing even more so I don't know if it's because I moisturized it really well and that made it 
crease more but it just looks so textured under here and dry i'm going to finish off the rest of my face i'm probably going to apply mainly Too Faced products just for fun because why not we're testing out Too Faced concealer we might as well use some more Too Faced products this isn't a sponsor or anything but why not we have nothing else to do girl okay we got nothing else going on <laughs> So we might as well just play with makeup. But I'm going to apply the rest of my face and then I'll be right back. Um, I did conceal a little bit here. I didn't go too heavy because I meant to do it before I put my foundation on and I forgot. And since it's not an exact match, it does look just a hair like warmer than the rest of my skin. So I didn't put too much but it, it's in this area. It covered up okay considering I used a tiny amount. I don't know. I would say if you have very smooth under eyes you'd probably like this more than I do but I just find that it's a little dry it's supposed to have ingredients that are supposed to be hydrating for under there um claims that it's super pigmented I find it to be medium coverage it's supposed to be waterproof I don't know about that I haven't tried that crease resistant I'm getting creases but I do have fine lines under my eyes um, it's supposed to have a nourishing formula enriched with porcelain, flower extract, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid to blend seamlessly into skin for a flawless, soft focus matte finish. I don't know. It's supposed to hide redness, dark spots, blemishes, acne, and dark circles. You can still see my dark circles and this time I applied more than I did the last two times I tried it on. Um, I feel like you can still see the darkness here um, I'm gonna see how well it will perform on its own but I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face maybe throw something on my eyes I'm not really sure so I'm back I finished off my face I didn't do too much because I mean where are we going um so I didn't really do my hair either sorry it's just the ponytail but um I put on some lashes something on my lips and that's pretty much it. I didn't do too much. I have a little bit of wing on. Nothing crazy. Um, I will link everything that's on my face in the description box. Guys, it's creasing. I feel like it creased more this time than the last two times I wore it. So maybe hydrating the under eyes was not the move. But um, we'll see. I'm going to check back in in about four hours. It's definitely creased. And I was trying to figure out exactly what it's doing. It looks like it's just sitting on top. It's not like cream concealers or liquid concealers. They tend to lay on my skin and kind of not absorb into my skin, but settle in in a way where they're not laying on top. This is laying on top and it looks dry and it looks cakey and it looks textured. I'm going to check back in. In a few more hours but I pretty much can tell you guys I'm not a fan and um, the first day I tried it I didn't dislike it but I didn't love it um, the second day kind of around about the same thing I started to see that it was um, looking even more dry um, and I had used a different powder than I did the first day but I would say maybe if you have smoother under eyes, it might work better for you. Um, I have seen that it's worked for um, other people, but I haven't watched too many reviews on it just because I didn't want to sway my opinion, but it's not working for me, you guys. I feel like it just looks dry. It looks, I look more aged under my eyes and I ain't nobody trying to look older so I don't know I don't, I think maybe on camera it looks a lot better than it does in real life but up close guys it's not cute and I find that the coverage kind of disappears a little bit here it's not super um, high coverage in the first place at least in my opinion but it definitely kind of disappears I haven't tried color correcting because I just wanted to see how well it works on its own without any help but I definitely will try that. I'm still going to keep playing with it and seeing if I can get it to work. Um, but you guys, I don't know. I just feel like I've had better concealer days. This is just not it. I don't know. 
Ugh, I wanted so much to like it. It smells good. It's a pretty good price. I think it's only $22, which for a high-end concealer, they can run you at least $27 or higher. So that's not that bad. You are getting seven grams. Um, I just found that it doesn't look smooth under the eyes and it just looks dry texture is creasing quite a bit. I feel like all the claims aren't really standing up. To, I just don't. It's not my favorite. I'm going to check back in though in a few more hours just to see how well it's hanging in there. I don't feel like it looks that bad on camera but in person for sure. It's definitely gathering in my fine lines and it just kind of separates but in a weird way like I'm not even sure how to describe it but this just isn't it I don't know but I'll check back in and see how everything is looking but I mean that's kind of where we are that's where we're looking here to catch you up what's going on with the concealer so as I said I did apply a little here and I feel like that's pretty much gone um like you can see all my blemishes again um but the foundation has disappeared in that area also i'm oily it is just after midnight so i'm ready to take this face off and go to bed but um i wanted to show you guys what we're looking like after um a little over eight hours maybe almost eight and a half or so it's definitely faded quite a bit here and it's creased up even more so. Can you see like how much more we've disappeared? So the claims of 12 hours. Yeah, no. Um, it's definitely creased up. I've lost a lot of coverage. I can think of a ton more concealers that work better and a ton of them are drugstore. It just didn't work out for me. So um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys stick around, subscribe, don't forget to hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!